Hello, my name is Jakob Nagel and I've been here in Houston with Torch since 1998. You know this year is 2014, that means I've been here quite a while. So many times people ask me what it's like, what how it was coming here 16 years ago and if I have any regrets. And you know, thinking through life, you always have a collection of regrets. Things that we like, that we did, and things that we regret. That's sometimes how life, that's what life seems to be. It's just a collection of things that we did wrong, that we should have done maybe otherwise, done differently. And uh, you feel like, I wish I could go back. I wish there's something I could do about what I did. I wish I could go back in time and start again and do something different and make it better. We are now in the month of El, and the truth is, you know, when you think about it, that would be such a great invention sometimes to be able to go back just for that time in history where we really, really messed up. We said something that was painful to somebody else and caused them hurt. We did something that we really regret that we did. And we'd love to undo it. Can you imagine if that existed? Well, the truth is, actually it does exist. And that's actually expressed in the beginning of the very famous Sefer Sha'ari Tshuva, Rabbi Yona. A little bit of background who Rabbi Yona was. He was one of the greatest scholars that was alive in medieval times. And uh, he was very, very involved through his teacher in the tremendous controversy about the life of Maimonides. And because of that, he really did something that he just really regretted. He just felt terrible about it. And he didn't know what to do. What should I do? He realized that he was wrong. It came about through an incident when he saw the result of his issues that he created against Maimonides, against the Rambam, and he said, and because of that, those books were burnt. And sometime later, in the very same square, they burnt thousands of books of the Talmud. And you have to realize this is before days of the printing press. Somebody labored long and hard to write every other word, every word. And can you imagine years of labor going up in flames. And he realized that that was a message and that he needed to. And he regretted what he did. He did something wrong. He needed to correct it. And because of that, he wrote this book, Shari Chuva, The Gates of Repentance. So the first paragraph, it blows our minds away. What does he bring up? He describes what tshuva is. And what is tshuva? It's the greatest gift that we can have in life. It is the ability that we have to undo what we did, to get rid of that regret that we did. So here's the words how he says it. Min ha-tovos asher heitev Hashem yisbarach in Bruach. One of the good things that God did for the people who were created, ki hechin lahem haderech, God prepared a path. A path to do what? La'alos mitoch pachas masem. To get up from the trap of their actions. Something that they did that they're trapped in. Vilanos mitach pishem. And to flee from that jail of their sins. Unbelievable. This is something that we need to think about. There's so many things in life. And yeah, sometimes it's a relationship that's old, that's just been festering, that's been messed up and no good. There's something to do about it. Now, there's one relationship that you can really talk about, and that's us and God. 
How have we been? What happened to that? We have a path. A path to undo any bad behavior that we had and to erase that as if it never happened. The clock is ticking. Let's take the time now to think about those relationships, those regrets that we have, and think about how much we want to change them and then bring it to action and undo and go back in time and make it as if it never happened. This is something that we have in the power to do right now. The, the Torah tells us that it's dear show Hashem behimotso. Seek out God when He is found. The time is now when God is here in our midst, ready to hear us, ready to hear our worries, our fears, our actions that we regret, and how we plan on changing. That's what we need to do now.